But yeah. So, next map gonna be Polar Night. Bring your jacket, it's gonna be a little bit chilly. Ooh, Ooh. wow. Now, um, look, looking at that last game, uh, that was actually a pretty interesting DBZ from start to finish. Um, the the microing around that hatchery there at the front mm -hmm. uh, to keep that alive. A, a lot of other zergs uh, tend to cancel or just, you know, mm -hmm. revert to much more defensive play. Um, and, uh, you know, the wall in from life as well as the uh, crazy all in there from dark and the counter attack there from life. These guys are making for some great ZDZs. Certainly are. Uh, you know, I think any game with life in it generally is a great game just because of his style. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. All right. Two Zerg players. Right now, one of them is about to go on to the round of 16, where hardly any Zergs are, <laughs> here in this season of the GSL Code S. Dark versus Life. What's up, Artie McTosis? Yo, Tasteless McTosis. How's it going, dude? Um, it's going well. So, Enjoy 300 was originally a comic. Yes. Uh, like, as far as, like, <laughs> what that, you know... What, what that was, is the second 300 movie, was that a, this, another, was there another comic after that? Yeah, there could there have was? been. I, I, I don't know, but I, I would imagine. You, do you read much comics at all? No, I don't read comics at all, actually. Okay. Like, not since I was a little comics. kid. I read the, uh, the Watchmen comic. Oh, yeah, yeah. That you, was you were really telling me good. I should read it. It's, well, it's funny because the movie's like, you can't even watch it after if you've seen the comic. I try to watch The Watchmen like four times and fell asleep every time. The comic's much better. And then I just uh, bought a V for Vendetta. Ah. It's a really good comic. That's cool. Yeah. That's, um, my, that's my cool story. Yeah. Cool story, bro. That's a glimpse into Tasis' amazing life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all right, so. But yeah, uh, the uh, I'm trying to think back to my history lessons in seventh grade and. Uh, so they lost at Thermopylae, but I think well, eventually there, there, there they came back and story. defeated the Persians. And I think it was mostly via ship warfare, I believe, but I might be off on that. Uh, there's something where they held off. But I, see, the problem is, I don't know if it was, was it actually history or was it just like a, a, a like mythology? No, no, they no like history? the like, Battle of Thermopylae did occur, from what I understand. And they, they just like held for a really long time, which is, you know. They were basically our toes in StarCraft 1, man. They were the Terran, man. Yeah. Turtling in there, turrets built everywhere. And of course, the 1A Persians. <laughs> the 1A Persians? Yeah. <laughs> Just attack moving. With their death ball. <laughs> They're like, you know, well, I have all this stuff, and, you know, I'm microing my 300 Marines as hard as I can. Yeah. It's like banelings exploding and, like, Colossus lasers and, you know. So completely mirrored builds this time. Both going for that pool first. The uh, difference that we're seeing at the moment is that Dark has chosen to get a little bit quicker gas, which means that life's economy is going to be a little bit stronger. I wonder if we're going what we're going to see exactly uh, from from Dark here with this quick gas. You know, a lot of times when a game opens up like this with similar builds, where one person gets gas and the other one gets much later gas. Yeah. The later gas player oftentimes is going to go for like a heavily upgraded roach based army, whereas the gas guy is going to kind of have some map control with speedlings and uh, oftentimes going to mutas. But that's not necessarily what's going to happen. Just something that definitely could. Looks like uh, for the time being, they're just going to be droning up. And we'll just continue to watch this production tab. Talk to me, Artosis. Well. We've got a little bit of downtime here. Indeed. We don't want spine crawler, but not much else beyond that. No, not too much. Not too much. A bunch of bruiselings dancing back and forth. All right, here's a here's a question for you, Tasis. Yes, please. What do you think about bruised fruit? What do I think about bruised fruit? Yeah. Uh, I I don't dig it. You don't dig it? Is there some twist in this? No, like I'm just it's a question. No. Like do you do you never eat bruised fruit? I've eaten bruised fruit. You've eaten bruised fruit, but like do you nowadays that you're an adult with a job, do you eat bruised fruit? If ever? there's a bruise on a banana, I'll eat it. Still. You eat the bruise or do you take the bruise I out? I eat the bruise. Okay. There's nothing bad about it, right? Maybe no, just, I don't think like so. It's, it's just like ripe. It's just, like yeah. more ripe or something. Like it's still fine, I think. No, yeah. No, I'm not a coward. 
I don't eat the bruise. You don't eat the bruise? No. Wow. I eat around well, the bruise. Well, this makes friends. This makes sense. Best friends, of course. Yeah. One always has to eat the bruise. You can always eat the bruises on my It's bananas. like the rule of olives. Yeah. If you like olives, then you're probably your best friend does not like olives. I love that's, olives. There you go. And I hate olives. Yeah. I actually have a jar of olives at my house that I eat. Yeah. Like, I just eat olives. And I refuse to. I refuse to. I don't. Oh, I olives. sometimes go whole weeks only eating olives and nothing else. <laughs> Drinking olive juice to oh, rehydrate no, no. myself. <laughs> olive diet here. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, roaches on the way here, and the plus one missile attack here for Dark. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's see. The third bases are lined up pretty closely with Life getting a slightly quicker one. And Life is actually making uh, quite a few Zerglings right now and getting Zergling speed. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. You might be using this for, uh, I mean, y you know, sometimes you see these Ling Roach type attacks. But you have to be careful going for something like that against someone who's upgrading Roaches. Because over time, the, the Roach, the more Roach heavy player, is going to be the one that succeeds. And he's going out now to his third. Oh. Over here that just now finished. It looks like Dark's uh, third base also just now about to finish. Drones are basically even right now. Yeah. And uh, Life is starting his Roach upgrades, but he's getting just so many Lings right now. Yeah. I think he's really going to try to get a, a snipe on that hatchery. Well, if he does, he's definitely waiting until the hatchery is done. Um, in which case, uh, you know, if he takes it out, that really uh, puts a damper on Dark's options here. Yeah, that, that could uh, result in a huge lead. Mm -hmm. But he's I mean, got to be careful because his speed Roach uh, plus one timing attack could be very, very powerful as well. Okay, he's coming up now with those Lings. Link speed is just about to finish, which will allow him to get over there and hit and then get out effectively. All right, here we go. Going to go up and surround this hatchery in a matter of seconds. Now, these roaches are coming down. Can he get the hatchery and get out? Yeah, Looks he like was, he will. He's going to get this hatchery easily and then get out, counting his losses here. Uh, and beautifully done, although you don't want to have those links engaged the broodlings, but beyond that, really nicely done. Now there's a chance for a counterattack here from Dark since he has to try to deal back some of the damage that he took here from Life. And this is a smart move here by Life is to go with this, a counter of his own. Indeed. Now this counter, it's a little bit dangerous because his opponent has so many more roaches. I don't know if Life can actually hold this at home. I think he has to abandon this third hatch. He's going to try to hold on. If he does hold on, the game will be his. Yeah, the spine crawler doesn't really cover the hatchery here. There are more roaches coming here. They were delayed slightly. Um, by those links there of life. Well, life is actually doing a pretty good job with this defense so far, considering more and more roaches coming out of his hatcheries. And as He's you said, Tasis, those links really slow down these reinforcements. He's not moved that spine crawler yet. It's just still sitting back there. And um, I like that he's, he's pulling back out there to try to get out of the uh, wow. contacts there. Just really a, a great hold here by life. Wow, life is like really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like Life Let's, just holds this. Yeah, you know, those Lings holding the the roaches off with that little counterattack, I think that was the most important part of this game, to be honest. I think you're honest. right, because uh, he had just enough time with his three production facilities cranking out roaches, yeah. engaging that army, to take down that little group uh, before it snowballed there. Had uh, he not had those Lings there, Dark's reinforcements yeah. would have gotten there and just done the damage they needed to do. I think so. I think he would have, like, straight up killed that third base really easily if that hadn't happened, but... And again, uh, he didn't even really use a spine crawler there. Yeah. As is right now, life is looking really good, man. Look at this supply differential. It's crazy. He's up like 30 army supply at the moment. Um, well, you also got to keep in mind, <coughs> losing one of your three production facilities there as dark mm. really slows everything down. Certainly does. That hatchery is only just now about to finish. You see the drones being transferred there now. And his income taking a little bit of a hit as well. Mm -hmm. well you know, this is this is going to be an uphill battle for him. They're going for the same unit composition, but his production, as you say, tasteless, was a bit slow here. Slowed down, rather. Saw those links and come up there, just driving back yeah. that queen. I quite like uh, the speedlings being out on the map right now, because... He's able to like really force these roaches into where he wants them. Oh, nice job here! Just getting these drones, getting because see that's the life that we all know. Yeah. 
That's the life that I love to cast because he's always all over the place doing damage. Nice job here by Dark, though, as well, uh, coming in there with those roaches, uh, getting a few uh, hits here and there. Mm. Life makes quick work of that. <laughs> yeah, he'll kill them all off, but you know what? It is. That's a, that's a nice move. All right, so this is a rather large amount of roaches moving out here for life. And let's see, he has 1-1 one, one against the plus 2, so the plus 2 is a bit better here. And okay, I, yeah. I would not engage that. No, just don't do it, Life. It's not worth it. Seriously. Uh, now he's don't throw your life small, away. <laughs> he has a small number of roaches. He wanted to get up there into the main and maybe try to get some drones, which would get the uh, rest of Dark's roaches out of position. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't work. Yeah, uh, well, it looks like just the positioning of Dark is really, really good here to have yeah. some on that ramp. He knew that was going to come. Of course, Life is going to try to hit multiple locations at once. Also, note Dark does not have the two extractors over there at the third. Mm. Quite a bit slower there, but he's only getting uh, one upgrade at a time, so it's okay for now. But he's going to be behind on upgrades coming up here pretty soon. And let's not forget that Life is actually grabbing Burrow movement, which is... Uh, you know, obviously he's going to be able to heal up his roaches a lot quicker. I, I'm interested to see what he does with the actual movement of the burrow, though. Like, will he go for harassment? Here we go. Dark Whoa, coming dark. in. Dark. I don't know if I like this angle here for Dark. Yeah, it's kind of a hard one. Yeah, that curb definitely favors uh, a life here. Yeah, Dark's edging forward, though. Dark has quite a few roaches here. Uh, but life has a couple more, and the thing is, we're so close to his hatcheries that his reinforcements are just popping out so yeah. much quicker. Wow, I mean, he's just making it. Oh, nice, and the harass over here from life to just get these drones. Look at the supply difference now. Dark at 108 with life at 154. Yeah, that's pretty rough, and you can see that burrow movement really starting to kick in. He's all over the place with these roaches trying to harass, pulling uh, Dark all around the place. You can see this is like a game of whack-a-mole that Dark can't win here. Hmm. Um, this may be um, uh, just too much for Dark to handle. He may just end up losing this. Uh, I, I quite like this play here by uh, by Life. He's got Broad Roaches in three different areas right now, and he's got his main army out at the front, which means that Dark has to manage all of that. Even gooping that uh, second hatch there. <laughs> Okay, he's going to come up here again, and he's just shaving off workers one by one. Yeah, it's he's gaining all sorts of little advantages. And look at this, he moves in, and the second he thinks that uh, his opponent just is out oh, of position. Oh, that's it. This is game here. That is. There's no way. supply to 200? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, GG. Life is going to be the first today to move on to the round of 16. He made this look the group look bad. He lost the no, game know, where right? he like did a weird cheese that like we never see with drones against Protoss and Probably. everything else he just crushed. <laughs> I'm really impressed with Life. He's looking very, very good. Yeah. Um, Dark did play well, but you could just see that Life has a much better grasp of Zerg or Zerg. Yeah. Well, Life is just. I, I love his star sense. I love his micro. The way he's always yeah. harassed and he's always pushing around the map and forcing his will upon you. An amazing Zerg player for sure. Really solid. Really nice stuff. Um, so life moves on. Uh, Royal Rotor might have a chance of even winning this GSL. Yeah, we, don't, we don't have a lot of Zergs, okay? We don't have a lot of Zergs in the round of 16. He's the third Zerg the so one far. That we the ones that we have, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely could it's, pull through. It's like Sue, Sulky, and now Life. Those yeah. are absolutely three of the best Zergs in the world without question. Well, after the short break, we're going to go to a PvP and see who, uh, which player is going to be the first to get knocked out of today's group at the GSL Codas.